Hello everyone, Brett here, Lionheart84, and um, I was out for a walk today, Sunday walk, which I should put the video out for, and um, walked past a uh, fruit and vegetable stall, and I happened to have a, a few nice looking honey mangoes on the stall, um, honey mango. Mexican produce, not from the Far East or India or Bangladesh. It's a Mexican one, so it'd be interesting to see what it's like. So I thought I'd, uh, it's got a little bit of bruising at the end, so I thought I'd eat it straight away. I've just chilled it in the fridge for a short while because I thought it might be nice and cold. So I thought what I'd do is uh, cut it open and have a look and taste with you and see if it's any good or not. See you in the next bit of the video. I'll just flip the camera around. Okay, Ooh, sorry, the camera a bit closer. So here we go, honey mango. They're not a large mango. See, I've still got my damage now from where I crushed it under a, uh, a drain cover. Should grow out in a few weeks. Looks like I'm wearing black nail polish, very gothic. Um, as I said, this is a honey mango, according to the label. Certainly looks like a honey mango. So I thought what we'd do, it looks like it's bruised on the ends, but I thought I'd cut it open, see if it's any good. You never know with these, it might be sweet, it might be dry, depends how they've been stored. Just don't smell of anything particular. So I thought, well, uh, let's cut it open, see what it looks like inside, see if it's fibrous or not. I can never remember if the honey mangoes are meant to be fibrous. As I suspect, it's, it's a little bit bruised at the end, but the rest of it looks fine. So let's just see what it's like. We'll do it the other, do it the uh, the natural way. Hmm. Yeah, it's quite nice. Um, perhaps not the sweetest one I've ever had. I must admit I prefer to eat them with a spoon. Slightly, how would I describe it? Not ultra mangoey. It's nice, not ultra sweet, not ultra soft negligible fibre in it. Sometimes have a slight, it's got a slight aftertaste to it, which I forgot the phrase for, the word I actually want. What's the word I'm looking for? It might come to me later in the video, but very pleasant. I'm not going to bother growing the, uh, trying to grow the seed on it. I'm, I'm fed up with growing mango seeds. There's a little bit of fibre very close to the stone, but not too much. It's caused a little bit of discoloration. But despite the discoloration, that bit's still edible. There's a slight gummy taste to it, but I can't remember. I can't remember the word I'm looking for. It's not this. It's not astringency. There's something else when you get a slight aftertaste to it. Basically, a very pleasant mango, though. I'm not sure if it's worth two ninety nine. I'm buying regular mangoes in the supermarket for about ninety pence for a mango two or three times the size for a Palmer or a Keat or a Kent. So these honey mangoes are very expensive, whether or not they're worth the extra money. Resinous, that's the word I'm looking for. It's got a slight, very slight resinous aftertaste to it. I think some, some people call it a slight petroleum aftertaste. So which might sound a bit weird on a mango, but they are noted sometimes for having that petroleum aftertaste but very pleasant I'm going to try growing it to sort of do a quick tasting for you as we don't do honey mangoes very often thanks for watching please give me a thumbs up welcome to share the video subscribe to my channel and of course click on the bell if you'd like 
updates on new videos when they come out. I'll see you on the next video. Brett out for now.